Could an injection be the answer for people suffering from the devastating effects of post-traumatic stress disorder? A doctor in Chicago says he's seen the shot make a difference in a matter of minutes. Lauren Petty shows us how the procedure has helped one couple coping with PTSD. Clarence and Molly Elkins traveled to Chicago from Cleveland for a treatment they say saved their marriage and their lives. Facing a death penalty for a year, um, you know, that was horrific in itself. Clarence spent more than seven years in prison after he was wrongly accused of murder. His exoneration in 2005 didn't erase the PTSD symptoms he experienced from his years behind bars. Depression sets in and and without without this um, this stellate ganglion block procedure, medical procedure, I don't believe I would be here today. Stellate ganglion block, or SGB, is a procedure where a shot of anesthetic is used to numb a cluster of nerves. And the idea is to reboot parts of the brain that are changed due to trauma. Chicago anesthesiologist Dr. Eugene Lipov says the results are nearly instant. It reduces the patient's symptoms in about 30, 40 minutes, and it may last for years. As soon as you get that injection, it honestly feels like, like you can take a breath. Clarence's wife Molly is getting a second booster injection along with her husband. When you live with somebody that has PTSD, that um, it definitely rubs off on, on you. Dr. Lipov says the relief the Elkins experience is what most of his patients experience. Our results now is in about 90 percentile, where people 90 percent get significantly better. The Elkins say they're living proof. Dr. Lipov says each shot costs about $2,000. It is not currently covered by insurance. The military is studying its impact on soldiers, and those results could make the treatment more mainstream. There are new guidelines for the human papillomavirus. The CDC says men should get the vaccine through age 26. That mirrors the recommendations for women. The CDC also suggesting that unvaccinated adults between the ages of 27 and 45 talk to their doctors about getting immunized. Children should still start receiving doses around 11 or 12. HPV is often spread through sex and can lead to six types of cancer.